I kind of thought that pulling out the ceiling was a really big effort, but that was only because we hadn't actually started the windows yet. First, you have to take the window out, which means removing the screws on the side, scoring the old seal, and a heat gun helps a lot with that, and then slowly but firmly and carefully pull the window out. Then comes cleaning off all of the old butyl tape, or I don't actually know if it's butyl tape or if it's some sort of butyl caulk, but either way, it is a bitch to clean off. You scrape off as much as you can with a heat gun and a scraper, and maybe take a wire wheel to it, that helps a lot too. Then get the rest of the residue off with a solvent, and we tried several, but we found that acetone seemed to work the best. You do this on both the frame and the window. Then add the new butyl tape and just be sure to get it any place where the window frame hits the frame of the bus and just make sure it's well covered. Then put the window back in place. The only difference between the emergency windows and the regular windows was a few extra screws and removing that little buzzer that goes off when the window is open. Otherwise, they were exactly the same. This whole process takes about an hour to an hour and a half, and we have 24 windows. Oh, finally down to the last of the windows. You know, one thing about um, doing these windows like this is that it gives you an opportunity to get rid of the 17 years of filth that has built up on these things. Now, sometimes when you take out these windows, you may inadvertently <laughs> uh, pull the window out of the actual frame itself, and it kind of bows a little bit, and that will make it pretty much impossible to put it back in. Not only that, but it won't be sealed properly. So um, the first time I did this, I freaked out. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, I broke a window. But it's actually pretty easy to fix. You just unscrew it here from the side and then also on the other side and you just sort of work it back into place. It's pretty easy. Uh, this does have, at least ours, have these little square screw heads, which are kind of funky. So it's possible you might need to get a special bit for that, but otherwise it's actually pretty simple. 